Okay, so this is another two-dimensional vector decomposition problem, and um, I will try my best to redraw the diagram, the figure that's given the textbook, E4.3. Um, so basically what's going on is that we have um, a patient wearing a chin strap that looks a little something like this. So it's um, pulling on him in these two diagonal directions, um, and then it catches up to these little wheels that come back around and make kind of a, a diamond shape. And they meet back in the center, and they're pulling upwards. So again, there's a little rotational wheel here, and another rotational wheel here. And then a key um, a piece of information that's only given in the figure is that the angle in between these two um, these two straps is the um, angle theta, which is 75.0 degrees in this problem. We'll need that number in order to numerically solve the problem. That's 75.0 degrees. Um, okay, so that's great. We have an upward left force and an upward right force. Um, and then really importantly is that we're not actually going to be using the angle theta, so which is the angle theta over 2 in this problem because there's a line of symmetry going down the bottom. So let's use the head-to-tail method for vectors in order to um, you know put them from head to tail. So let's do the left vector first and then the right vector second. So we know that it's symmetric, so um, they're going to um, be the same magnitude. Um, and then they'll, if we do it like this, they will end up with a perfectly straight up vector. Let's call that F tote. And then again, they're two equal and opposite. Um, sorry, they're two uh, equal, but not necessarily opposite um, vectors. So we'll call them T for tension one in the upward left direction and the other one in the upward right direction. And their angle theta over two is sneakily hiding over here in this corner, as well as this upper corner. So we have another natural line of symmetry and that is the horizontal one going right here um, to show that we have a nice right angle between the horizontal axis and our f tote vectors so now would be a good time to define a coordinate system that being x in the horizontal direction just a classic coordinate system and then y going upward in that vertical vertical direction so let's start translating free body diagrams into actual equations we're going to want to use the cosine trigonometric function for um, the tension vector because we're interested in the vertical component we're interested in the y component so that's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse so and this is true for both tension vectors we're going to get the cosine and remember it's going to be of theta divided by two not just theta awesome so um, as we described earlier the um, total vector is going to be purely in the vertical direction and then again we have symmetry here where the two tension vectors are the same so it's literally just going to be the y component twice one contribution from left and right so now we can go ahead and add this together so you get a nice factor of two substitute in the relationship that we just found nice theta over two um, um but then remember we're actually we're solving for t so we're gonna have to rearrange this um f2 is technically given to us that's given to us in the form of 5.5 sorry 5.00 newtons so do some algebraic gymnastics in order to um, isolate T, put everything else on the other side of the equation, top it all off with F tote, and then that is what our answer looks like in variables. We can go ahead and plug in some numbers. First do the last step, sorry that's supposed to be a 5, 5.0 zero newtons um, and then on the bottom two cosine 
seventy oops seventy five point zero over two uh, seventy five point zero degrees over two and then to um oops bring in a space here but uh, let's go let's go left um to uh, three significant figures that's going to be 3.15 newtons don't forget the units put a nice big box around that okay and then we are all done